quick disclaimer, the techniques shown in this video are for educational purposes only. Performing these actions in public or without authorization is illegal. This is a simplified demonstration. For in-depth details about this, please refer to the article link in the description. Use this knowledge responsibly and ethically. Hey everyone, if you are looking for a Flipper Zero functionality but currently don't have any Flipper Zero, Bruce Primer is a very compelling alternative. And in this video, I'll guide you through the installation of the firmware in three devices. First is the M5 Stick Plus 2, a card pewter, and the third would be Liligo TM Bed. Okay, and then afterwards, we'll try out some functionality just to test it out, giving you a taste of what is possible. The first thing we need to do is go to Bruce that computer slash flasher and there you will see two options latest release and the one that is more experimental the beta release and you will have the choices of the products that you have and this is where we'll, we will choose our devices later. Now first we will start with the M5 stick plus two okay now the way that you Put the M5 Stick Plus 2 into firmware mode or firmware flash mode is that as you can see here there you will be needing a jumper cable. You put it on ground and you need to short it. So put it on G0. Okay. So after you do that, you can now connect it. USB cable. Okay. So, once we connect it, USB cable, you can remove the jumper wire. You go to latest release. M5, oh, lil, oh yeah, M5 stack. Stick plus 2. Okay. So, we will be doing is we will be connecting. And as you can see here, there is this USB single serial, click, connect, and this will be connecting. And click install stick C plus 2. All you have to do is wait. Okay, now that it is complete, as you can see, it is, or it has booted to the Bruce firmware. Okay, so what I am doing is I will be attaching a RFID reader for it. And let's go to RFID. Okay, so let's go to read tag. And what we're going to do is we will be putting Kirby here, and as you can see, if it will focus, it is starting to read Kirby. Oops, the window. There. So what you're going to do is, after it had read successfully, you can click here or here. And you can clone it or you can save that tag on the file. Now the next one that we will be trying to install the firmware is the card pewter. Okay, so what we will be doing is, as you can see here, if it will focus, there is that button G0. And that is the one that you will be holding while... You insert the USB cable and that will put it on the firmware flash mode. Okay, so after that, again, same instructions. Let's go M5 stack card pewter, click connect, choose the JTAG serial debug unit. Then connect. 
And now we wait. Click install card filter. Install. Okay, now that the installation is complete, we can unplug the card filter. We can turn it on. And let's wait and it will boot to the Bruce firmware. Now for the card filter, the one that we will be testing is, let's put on a, a 433 radio frequency receive, receiver on it. Okay, so let's just plug it in. If I would know how to plug it in. Okay. Okay, so I now have it open. Let's go to RF. Okay, click enter. And let's do scan copy. Okay, so we have there. This one, yeah. okay, so it's zero. I'll do a keep up. And as you can see, it changed to one. Okay, so once it's changed to one, that is something that you can save the signal. Click enter. And as you can see, the signal is now saved and that is something that you can replay later. Last but not least, we will be doing the Lilgo T-Embed. And the way for the T-Embed to go to the firmware flash mode is that you need to hold that button when you are plugging it in. Okay, so when you hold that button, after you plug in, you can release it. Go to Lilgo and go to T-Embed and click connect the same usb j tag serial debug you need and click connect and click install okay now the installation is complete we can unplug it and let's try the a certain functionality i'll be trying out the the odd functionality of it okay so what we will be trying is the wi-fi d odd functionality of it okay so let's go here okay so there's wi-fi and let's go with wi-fi attack okay so it's scanning Okay, so what we will be doing is, let's connect to my Wi-Fi. And there is the d -aut attack. Okay. So let me go to my cell phone. And let's check. As you can see, it has already d -aut my cell phone. And we can pause the attack. Pause. And when I pause the attack, you will see that my cell phone will be connecting again. Okay. So let's start the attack again. And my cell phone disconnected again. Really cool. So we have covered the installation and the quick overview of the Bruce firmware showing you how to get Flipper Zero like functionality on those three devices. Now if you followed along you should now have these devices ready to go. So don't forget to check the video description down below for all the links and resources needed. And if you have any questions or run into any issues, leave a comment down below and I will be doing my best to help you. And as always, please like and subscribe because I will be having more videos about Bruce Firmware 
and each of its functionality. So till next time, my fellow Hakista.